Welcome to my first ever speed build. That feels insane to say. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time and now I'm finally here and I'm here with a cozy family home. That's what I decided to call it because I feel like it's very cozy. <laughs> that was my reasoning. Uh, but yeah, it's for two parents and I was actually picturing two grandparents, um, actually two grandmas to live here um, and I think that's actually what I'm going to have it ask. Yeah, it's for them and also their two grandkids, um, one teen and one kid. Uh, I was imagining that they're two girls, but it could be literally anyone you want. Um, but yeah, and also, of course, a cat. It's not a build in Brindisland Bay out a cat or a dog. But yeah, so of course, like I said, this is located in Brindisland Bay. Uh, I think you could see that kind of by the style I was going for. Um, and also <laughs> of the surrounding areas from this lot. I don't know the lot name because the lot name that's up right now in the upper left corner is not the actual lot name that's I at least I don't think it is because <laughs> I had a build here before and then I bulldozed it and built this instead um so I don't really know exactly what the lot is but it's in the forest area a map of the forest area it's the it's the house to the far left I think at least uh don't take don't take that 100% with accuracy because I don't know if that's true, but you know, well, let's say it is. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with the entirety of the shape of the house. Now I'm going on to the windows and the doors and everything. I was starting off with this door, which I don't end up keeping, but I really do like this door. And um, I think that it's something that I don't usually use. I usually use uh, either the doors, like the base game doors, or the doors from Cats and Dogs, or from um, Seasons. <laughs> I, oh, that blank for a second. But yeah, um, it's obviously depending on the style of the house. But yeah, you can see that I've switched it now. But um, I really, I really liked that door. It was just not fitting for some reason. But yeah, I will use it at some other point. I think I used it once in a cottage that I did in Windenburg, which you can find on my gallery. And this build is up on my gallery. My gallery ID, as you saw probably in the intro, is a Simsa 04. Um, and if you're unsure how to spell it, it's obviously in the intro, but it will also be in the description box down below. And here you will see that I have two different roof colors. <laughs> This was not intentional at all because I was messing around with different roof, roof colors and I edited that out um, But so it looks like I just was doing the roof and then I just completely out of nowhere sh switched roof color um, No, that's my fault, but if you do decide to download this that's not in it I have switched it and in the screenshots you will see that it's only one part of the roof that's like that because when I was coloring it in I get oh coloring it in I don't think that's the right term but I was when I was putting the roof there um the right one this time I for some reason forgot that one <laughs> that little part but if you decide to download this it will be completely one type of roof so yeah I'm sorry about that and I'm also so sorry for leaving the grid system on I never build with the grid system on but of course when I'm going to do a video for the first time ever it's going to have the grid system on of course <laughs> but yeah I will try to remember to not have that anymore because it's it was so annoying when I've been, uh, I've been editing this and it was so so annoying but hey what can you do the video is done I'm not gonna just ignore it but yeah uh, there you'll see that I also edited out just me placing um the bushes as a fence because it was just so tedious it was me like just putting bushes those are from the debug menu so if you do decide to download this again um have move objects and also show hidden objects uh, on because I, I don't know if you'll have to have show live edit objects on um because i think they would just appear anyway the plants that i used but um yeah because when i because i the screenshots of the house uh, is taking from another save file than from this when I actually built it. So when I was placing that this house in that other save file, uh, I didn't have move objects on uh, or show hidden objects on. 
so it kind of made it um, a little hard <laughs> because things were missing. So I put that on again, or I like I put in the sheets. Yeah, I put in the sheets and then it worked perfectly. Again, I just replaced the lot and everything was there. Um, but yeah, there you can see the two roof colors on the back. It's really annoying, but it will fix. It will be fixed um, if you do decide to download this. But yeah, I also just want to say that this is my first time ever doing a voiceover, so I'm so sorry if it's weird or wrong in any way. I'm trying my best here. Uh, hopefully, it's fine. <laughs> um, and also, it's my first time ever recording myself doing a speed build or d building in The Sims and also editing this type of video. I have edited videos before, but not this type. So I've learned so much and it was been, it's been so much fun. I've been working on this because I built this house yesterday. I think because I built it Monday, so I th and I think this video is going up Wednesday if I can't get it done by tonight. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on this since yesterday. <laughs> um, and it's been so much fun. Also, of course, it's taking me longer because I've been... I needed to do the intro and outro and everything, so it obviously takes me longer uh, the first time around and also learning everything. But it was, it's been so much fun and I really hope you like it. But yeah, um, I also edited out the landscaping. You'll see that I only show the, show the front of the landscaping, um, but not around the house. And I think that's been edited out now. That's basically when it, yeah, you can see that it's, it's there in some other places. Um, and that's just because of the video length. I didn't want this video to be too, too long. Uh, but because I didn't know really what was like a good time, but I feel like around like 20 minutes, I think this video is around 23 um, almost exactly 23 minutes and I feel feel like that's okay because this video originally was like 32 minutes and that was a really long time um, So yeah, I decided to shift shift it um, To a shorter time length which means editing out stuff. So yeah, the landscaping is a little edit out <laughs> not all of it obviously but some of it and also the upstairs bathroom so in the upstairs bathroom there's the washer and dryer as well as the cat litter box so if you're wondering where that is and you've been missing that in the video <laughs> that's where they are and you will see it in the screenshots but yeah um also in the screenshot there are um like pictures or screenshots from above for the floor plan if you want to see that more clearly because the floor plan i guess was done pretty quickly i had some trouble with the stairs because i didn't really know where i wanted them to go um uh, but i ended up i ended up really liking what i did so hopefully you'll like it too <laughs> i also had some problems um you probably saw before that uh, the window in the living room was black and I the entire wall was also black for a while and I don't know why but I just moved that forward and then back again and it was it was fixed so I don't know what the problem there was but it fixed itself so at least that's good <laughs> but yeah now we're on to the interior and so I went for this kind of lighter color scheme like lighter wood color scheme um and not really a lot of colors, just kind of muted. I used a lot of cats and dogs. This build is not pack restricted at all. And I'm sorry for that, but um, I don't know. I decided to go a little crazy, but there are of course some items that I just use like once, um, like from a pack. So for instance, there's a plant you will see that's next to, I will say when it comes up, um, <laughs> but that's from um, Get to Work. And that's the only thing from Get to Work. So if you don't have it, you should be fine if you download it. Uh, it also says that here it will come in second. Um, you'll see it in a second, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but also it says there's vampires if you decide to let, download this. Uh, it does not have vampires. I don't know where that came from, but um, this video does not have vampires. <laughs> so um, yeah, so if you don't have that and you have everything else, just feel free to download this. But yeah, I used a lot of cats and dogs. Um, also kind of a lot of Jungle Adventure because of the kitchen, because you will see the counters are from Jung our Jungle Adventure counters, and also the dining table is. Yeah, um, so you will notice in this build I love cluttering things up. This is not that much of a cluttered build, I would say. It's just like some regular clutter. Sometimes I go crazy, this time I did not. At least not in my opinion. <laughs> you might think it is, but I don't. Um, but yeah, you will see me in a second do it in the kitchen and then just all over the house. Um, and I know some people don't like it when it's that personalized, but that's 
what I like, that's what I like to build, that's how it's fun for me sometimes, just to clutter it up and make it personalized. So if you don't like that, and like you can obviously just delete it. If you want to download this house, you can obviously just delete it and it will be fine. Um, but yeah, also the same, like if you don't feel like you want to have this for two parents, uh, a kid and a teen and a cat, you can obviously change it up for what you want. The only thing I ask from you is that if you decide to um, change anything that you don't upload it to the gallery as your own and like claim it as your own because I've had problems with that before in the gallery and it's really annoying when someone takes credit for your work um, I think everyone if you've ever been in a group project you know what I mean <laughs> but um, yeah I really hope that you will respect that and uh, yeah and you will see also if you go to the gallery and see this build you'll see that in the description it says please don't upload as your own um, because it's just annoying when people do that. But yeah, um, here we'll see, I did go with the round dining table and I I don't really have a reasoning for that. Um, I was gonna go, I think originally I thought I was gonna go with a, like, a just know a regular square one, but I decided not to. I decided to go with this instead. And um, I like it. I actually really like how it turned out. And I really like, that I was able to clutter more up because usually if I just have a square table I just like to put a plant and maybe a light but here I was able to put a plant, a light and also some like spices which I thought was really really nice but yeah another thing is also that this house is fully play tested um there was a few problems when I was playtesting it. Uh, it was only actually two problems. Um, the first one being that my sim couldn't access the trash can and the mailbox outside, so I moved them to the to next to the stairs um, on the front entrance, and it totally worked then. And also right there, you would see that I just put a um, what's it called dining table, I guess, <laughs> dining outdoor dining area. And so the chair that's um, to the far, if you're looking from, if you're looking at the house from the front to the far, like to the corner in the left, to the left corner, that's how you say it. <laughs> um, if you, yeah, that chair is not accessible apparently, but if you sit to the, on the chair next to it and then just tell your sim to sit on that chair that's not accessible, they will access it. So I don't know what the problem was there, but yeah. He will also see me using platforms, which I'm loving. This is the only platform I used in this video, or in this build, I will say. Um, but yeah, and this is totally functional. I love making, I've been making showers like this since the platforms came out. I'm loving it so much. Um, but yeah, and uh, yeah, they're totally functional. Um, I don't think, like, as long as you have it on just one step, it works. So that's, I'm really happy about that because I, those showers that's just like mount into the wall, no like walls or anything, they're really good, especially if you're doing small homes because they don't take up a lot of space and don't need a lot of space, but they can also be kind of annoying, um, like, or not annoying, I just think they don't look right when you're just to the wall, so I like it better like that. But yeah, now we're on to the living room, and um, I actually decided to not have the couches like facing the fireplace and have that as the main thing. Um, I usually do that. I didn't. Des I decided not to do that for this video um, or this build. Why I keep saying video is a question, but <laughs> but yeah. So for this build, because um, I don't know, I just thought it looked better. That's it. Plus, I was able to clutter the fireplace up and here also you will see that I go back to the kitchen and clutter that up um, I just like these notes from uh, Parenthood so yeah they're in the debug menu um, I like debug is a saint like I love debug <laughs> so much especially if you love cluttering like me debug is your friend um, but yeah also you'll see that I'm using the OMS shelf I think that's what it's called the red shelf I will link it in the description box if you want to use it but I think basically every builder uh, on in Sims community I think as far as I've seen uses this shelf um, it's very common nowadays so it's uh, and it's common for a reason it's really good and helpful but yeah um, and you will also see the little bump out of this living room uh there is a wall that has the same tiling here you will see uh has the same tiling 
as the kitchen, which I don't know how that happened, but I do fix it. I don't think I keep it in the video, but it is fixed. Uh, it wasn't like when I was editing it, I was like, how did I not notice that sooner? Because it feels like something you would notice at least pretty quickly, but apparently not. Um, but yeah, here you'll also see that I'm using a just a light, a different light. I do change the light so it's not just this small little spotlight during the entire house. Um, I don't show all of them, I think, at least not upstairs, but they are changed. And I don't know, I don't think you can see that in the screenshots, but if you can, great! Because <laughs> But I don't remember, honestly, at this point. Um, but yeah, now we're on to the kind of, I guess, office area. It's actually a hallway. So it's from the entrance to the living room, but also to the parents' bedroom or grandparents' bedroom, as I was thinking. Um, and so I decided to put the computer here because I wanted a computer, but I didn't know if I wanted it here or up in the landing area. But I decided to put it here because I just thought it filled the space better. But yeah, I also put the thermostat there. Um, which I've been like, I always forget to do that, and I need to remember to do that because <laughs> I'm it's so annoying. Because I usually I build, but when I'm not building, when I'm actually playing the game, I realize that the sims are freezing or are too hot all the time. And I mean, that's that's real life, right? Um, so I need to remember to put that in because it's so annoying if you don't, but um. Yeah, I decided to put that in. Now we're on to the parents' or grandparents' bedroom. I will say parents' bedroom because I feel like that's what most people use this for. I don't know. I just got, like, grandma vibes from this. Um, so, yeah, they have each a nightstand that's basically decorated the same, just different colored books. Uh, you'll also see in a few seconds that I put two chairs in the corner. Um, looking back on it, I think I would have put two rocking chairs, but... I just put these, um, and also I put a, like, knitting, like, the knitting box, not, well, I don't know if it's bo basket, maybe, maybe that's what it's called, I don't know, um, and also some magazines and stuff, just to, like, fill up the space and also have some more activities to do, uh, and also because the, like, kind of, I was gonna say backyard, but it's not a backyard, uh, but because of that it's so small, the lot is kind of small with the house on it, I didn't have place to do a lot of activities outside, but you will, you would, as you saw before, I put as many as I could, um, so at least there's some activities for your sims to do. But now we're on to the upstairs and the kid's bedroom. I love this kid's bedroom, it's very pink and purple and yeah it, well it's mostly pink it's not that purple it's mostly pink <laughs> and uh actually i think the teen and the kid has the same bed and i think that's pretty realistic because i mean i know like me and my brother we have the same bed just different covers of it and i think that's pretty realistic that we have like the same but not the same. But yeah, they do have the same covers as well, and that was just because of the color scheme, like it fit the best, and also with the colored walls, I thought it was gonna be a little much if I had also had a pink bed. Um, obviously, sometimes that look, that totally works and looks good, but for this specific video or build, again, <laughs> uh, I thought it looked better with the play, just the plain kind of creamy colored, um, yeah, creamy colored, bed it's what it's called but yeah i'm just cluttering up the walls and i put this rug i think it's from city living and it's just sized up uh and it looks really nice when it's sized up i think especially in that swatch and some of the swatches it looks kind of grainy if you uh, size it up but in that swatch it actually looks pretty good but yeah now we're on to the teens bedroom so for this i honestly i didn't think of any personalities for this sim i thought that they kind of like to read maybe i don't know <laughs> i put a bookshelf i also put a keyboard from city living as well and that was also just to have so that just see them have some sims have something to do um and hopefully that works i love this dresser i always forget that that's in the game but i love it so much and hopefully you like it too um yeah, I always forget it's in the game. I don't know why, but then I use it. I'm like, I need to use it all the time. And then I don't use it in like 10 builds and then I use it again. 
but um, yeah, it's because it's kind of small too, so it like works in kind of every build, and that's very good, especially if you're doing kind of a smaller room. This is not a small room by any means. The child's bedroom is kind of small, but this room is not small, I don't think, but it just looked good, so that's why I picked it. But yeah, I, it feels weird. I'm almost at the end of the video. God, I was so like dreading doing this voiceover because I thought it was going to take such a long time, but it actually didn't. But yeah, I hope you really like this video and don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I really hope you liked the screenshots that's that's coming up and also that you like the style of the video and, or I meant the build again. <laughs> but yeah, bye everybody.